Good morning, everyone. Welcome to morning prayer. I know we've been off for a couple days, but hopefully we're back on track now and and uh, so glad you're able to join us. So uh, let us begin. Oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light in our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 82. God takes his stand in the council of heavens. He gives judgment in the midst of the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and, and show favor to the wicked? Save the weak and, and the orphan. Defend the humble and needy. Rescue the weak and the poor. Deliver them from the power of the wicked. They do not know, neither do they understand. They go about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. Now I say to you, you are gods, and all of your children are the most high. Nevertheless, you shall die like mortals and fall like any prince. Arise, O God, and rule the earth, for you shall take all nations for your own. Let us pray. Jesus, our Lord and our God, by your death you give life to the dead. By your resurrection you give strength to the weak. Rise up to rule the earth, and at the end of the world, when the secrets of the heart are revealed, make us glad to celebrate your justice now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, our reading today continues in Isaiah in the 51st chapter, beginning with verse 17. Rouse yourself, rouse yourself, stand up, O Jerusalem. You who uh, drunk the hand of the Lord, the cup of his wrath, who have dug it to the dregs, the bowl of staggering. There is none to guide her among all the sons she has borne. There is none to take her by the hand among all the sons she has brought up. These two things have befallen you. Who will condole with you? De devastation and destruction, famine and sword. Who will comfort you? Your sons have fainted. They lie at the head of every street like an antelope in a net. They are full of the wrath of the Lord, the rebuke of your God. Therefore hear this, you who are afflicted, who are drunk but not with wine. Thus says the Lord, the Lord, your God, who pleads the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken from your hand the cup of staggering, the bowl of my wrath. You shall drink no more, and I will put it in your hands of your tormentors, who have said to you, Bow down that we may pass over. And you have made your back like the ground, like the street for them to pass over. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our second reading comes from Galatians, the fourth chapter, beginning with verse 1. I mean that the heir, as long as he is a child, is no better than a slave, though he is the owner of all the estate, but he is under guardians and trustees until the date set by the father. So with us, when we were children, we were slaves to the elemental spirits of the universe. But when the time has fully come, God sent forth his son, born of woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the spirit of his sons into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So through God, you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir. Formerly, when you did not know God, you were in bondage to being, that by nature are no gods. But now that you have come to know God, or rather to be known by God, how can you turn back against the weak and again to the weak and beg and beggarly elemental spirits, whose slaves you want to be once more? You observe days and months and seasons and years. I am afraid I have labored over you in vain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. 
But now in these last days he has spoken to us by his Son, our Lord and Savior, begotten before all ages, revealed himself to the world. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory Glory to the the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Our Lord and Savior, begotten before all ages, revealed himself to the world. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father in heaven, from the days of Abraham and Moses until this gathering of your church in prayer, you have formed a people in the image of your Son. Bless this people with the gift of your kingdom. May we, may we serve you with our every desire and show love for one another, even as you loved us. loves us. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come. come. Thy Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Monday morning with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. And I hope you have a safe and warm um, uh, day today. And God bless you. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye.